Hello everyone, and welcome to another Dragonfly deck review. My name is Dan, Dragonfly9078, and uh, today I will be talking about kind of a uh, kind of a joke deck that I made, um, uh, which actually can win uh, a well, a somewhat surprising amount of the time. It can win, um, but Definitely, I would not expect this to, like, win tournaments. This is definitely just a for-fun-only deck. Um, because this deck is Jars. Uh, it's the, uh, it's the whole, uh, set of Flip Effect Jar Monsters. Um, uh, Morphing Jar, etc. Um, the only one I don't have is, I believe, Fiber Jar? Um, yeah, I don't have Ancient Jar, which is, like, a normal monster version of Morphing Jar, um, with worse stats. Uh, I don't have Cyber Jar, because it's, uh, it's forbidden, and I don't have Fiber Jar, because it's forbidden. I don't have Dragon Capture Jar, well, why not? I'll put two of them in there. And I don't have Jar Robber, because it is a card that specifically counters Pot of Greed, and Pot of Greed is, of course forbidden. Um, so, uh, let's get started. It is kind of a, a, a stall burn deck, but it's, it's definitely more of an annoyance deck. Um, it, uh, it is not meant to, like, outright win. It's just for fun. So, first up, we have Absorbing Jar. It's a level 3 Earth Rock. 600 attack, 500 defense. Um, it is a flip effect monster, of course. When it's flipped, Destroy all face-down spell and trap cards on the field, and then each player draws a card for each of the cards they controlled that was destroyed. Um, but if you use this effect, then you cannot set any cards during the same turn. So, um, of course, the best way to do it is to have your opponent attack so that they, uh, so that all the cards are destroyed, you guys draw, and, uh, and then you can still set during your next turn. Um, but, you know, use it however you want, I guess. Uh, Cobra Jar is a level 2 Earth Reptile. 600 attack, 300 defense, flip effect. Uh, when it's flipped, special summon a Poisonous Snake Token, which is a level 3 Earth Reptile with 1200 attack and defense. When that token is destroyed as a result of battle, your opponent takes 500 damage. So that kind of feeds into the uh, the minor burn aspects. Um, oh, actually, what it is greed do? Because I remember there was a card called greed. Yeah, uh, I would say you could use greed, but honestly, you're going to be drawing a lot more than they are, probably. Um, you can still use it, of course, but I wouldn't. So, that, and that, that token is also probably going to be one of the strongest attacking monsters in the entire deck, unless you go for, uh, for XYZs. Which, you know, can be a problem. <laughs> uh, because it's only got 1200 attack. Dice Jar is up next. This is the main way you will be winning any duels with this deck. It is a level 3 Light Rock Monster. 200 attack, 300 defense, with a flip effect. When it's flipped, both players roll a six-sided die once. The player with the lowest result takes damage equal to their opponent's result times 500. Um, so, that can be some major burn damage. Uh, 500, 1000, 1500, 2000, 2500, any of those. Uh, you will note I did not say 3000, because... Uh, if one of the people rolls a 6, then instead of 3,000, the loser actually takes 6,000. And of course, if the results are the same, both players roll again. Um, but if, if you lose, or whoever loses, if the other person rolled a 6, you take, the loser takes 6,000 damage. That is an incredibly large amount of damage. 
um, probably the most damage by any single card effect. Um, that isn't like self-destruct button where the life points become zero. No, this is actual damage. Um, so this is the main way you'll be winning duels, but be warned because you can also lose with this because you can also take the 6,000 hit. Um, two dice jars. Uh, if one win is a four and the other one is a six and they're both by the same person, then the game's over because that's 2,000 and 6,000. Um, Dimension Jar is a level 2 Dark Machine, 200 attack and defense. When it's flipped, both players can banish up to 3 monsters from their opponent's graveyard. So, not a great card, but it's not terrible. Um, I mean, it, banishing your monsters doesn't really hurt you, uh, unless you're really aiming for Soul Reversal. But if that happens, then you can just use Soul Reversal anyway, because it's a quick play. Um, but it can definitely hurt your opponents um, if they have something in their graveyard. If they really rely on graveyard power, then Dimension Jar can actually really, uh, really hurt them. Jar Turtle is a level 4 Water Reptile, 200 attack, 2100 defense. So, very sturdy defense. Uh, while it's face up on the field, you draw a card every time Jar of Greed is activated. Um, so this basically turns your Jar of Greeds into Pot of Greeds and also lets you draw whenever your opponent activates Jar of Greed. Plus, 2100 defense is not too shabby. Morphing Jar, I'm sure you know. Uh, it's a level 2 Earth Rock, 700 attack, 600 defense. Uh, when it's flipped, both players discard all the cards in their hands and then draw five cards. So there are some milling aspects to this deck. Um, not, it's not especially prominent because, again, you're more likely to mill yourself out first. Um, but Absorbing Jar, Morphing Jar, and Morphing Jar 2, to an extent, can, uh, can all mill. Um, speaking of Morphing Jar 2, uh, it's a level 3 Earth Rock, 800 attack, 700 defense. Uh, this one is a bit complicated. When it's flipped, you shuffle all monsters on the field into the deck. Uh, except, of course, Morphing Jar 2 if it was attacked, and it would have been destroyed. Then, each player reveals cards from the top of their deck until they reveal the same number of monsters they shuffled into their main deck. Uh... Special summon all revealed level 4 or lower monsters in face-down defense position. Also send any remaining cards to the graveyard. So, uh, the reason this can help mill is if they are having extremely bad luck, or if they had like 5 monsters or something, um, then you can send quite a lot of cards to the graveyard. Uh, mostly spells and traps, but uh, it can still add up. Um, on the other hand... Uh, they, it, it, uh, it is a bit misleading because it says until you reveal the same number of monsters that you put into your main deck. So first of all, you don't count ones that were put into your extra deck, like XYZs, Synchros, Fusions, no. Um, it's only the ones that were put into the main deck. Secondly, uh, you count monsters that are over level four. But the only ones you special summon are the level 4 or lower ones. So uh, you might not end up with the same amount of monsters or the same number of monsters you put into your main deck on the field. Um, so it can be a bit confusing. Uh, it is good with it with all these because it puts them all in face down defense and all of these are level 4 or lower. So um, it can help, I guess, is the word. Um, three Book of Eclipses. Book of Eclipse can also mill. Uh, change all face-up monsters on the field to face-down defense position. During the end phase, flip all face-down defense position monsters your opponent controls face-up, and your opponent draws one card for each. Um, I'm sure you've seen this card around. Uh, it does include 
monsters that were face down in defense mode when it was activated that your opponent controls. Um, they are flipped face up. They are not flipped summoned, so they do go into face up defense mode. Um, it's a quick play spell. Not really. I mean, it's yeah. That's pretty much it. Uh, Book of Moon. I'm sure you've seen. Flip a uh, face up monster to face down defense. Um, these are really good. First of all, for preventing attacks if you don't have any monsters, but also for reusing flip effects. Um, which is the main reason they're in here. Burden of the Mighty uh, is a continuous spell card. Each face-up monster your opponent controls loses 100 attack times its own level. Uh, that can be significant for uh, for strong monsters. Um, yeah, uh, for for lower level monsters it is less significant, but for stronger monsters that can be a uh, that can be a big deal. Soul Reversal is a quick play spell card. Return a flip effect monster from your graveyard to the top of your deck. There is a lot of draw power in this deck. This card, like I would normally say, oh, it goes to the top of your deck, so it's kind of slow. There is so much draw power in this deck, that doesn't matter. Um, I mean, of course, there will be times when uh, you'll activate it and you won't draw it until your next turn, but a lot of the time, that just doesn't matter. Uh, it's really good for getting back uh, your flip effect monsters. So with this card, let's see, with uh, with just the cards in this deck, um, with just the cards in this deck, uh, with just Morphing Jar and Spells and Traps, uh, you can use Morphing Jar once by itself, Twice, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, uh, with Morphing Jar and just spells, if they have a 40 card deck, you can mill out their entire deck. Um, and it's not even mentioning Morphing Jar 2s, which just get ridiculous with, uh, with Morphing Jars. But, so, it is very possible to, uh, to mill your opponent out with this deck. But again, most of the most of the wins will come from Dice Jar. Also, most of the loses will come from Dice Jar, but, uh, but that's beside the point. Stumbling. Uh, any monster that is normal summoned, flip summoned, or special summoned is changed to defense. This is a pretty much completely defensive deck, except for, I think, like, Grenosaurus and Leviathan Dragon. But, um... So this is good. So you flip your monsters and don't have to uh, worry about your life points. Um, dice reroll once this turn. Negate one six-sided die roll and reroll it. Uh, works for uh, works for dice jar. Um, if they roll a six, then you can negate their six. Uh, if you roll a one, you can negate your one. Um, that kind of thing. Jar of Greed, draw a card. Pretty simple, you all know it. Magic Cylinder, uh, and these are basically draw twos with Jar Turtle. Um, magic Cylinder, when your opponent attacks, then you can negate the attack and hit your opponent for the same amount of damage as that monster's attack points. Straightforward, very classic burn card. Um, very good defensive card. Uh, and unlimited. Um, Mirror Force, of course, you know. Uh, I just put these two Dragon Capture Jars in because, hey, it's a jar. Why not? <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, uh, most of these are twos and threes, I think. Yeah, except for uh, except for Jar Turtle, which is four. So I have Gachi Gun Tetsu, uh, Giant Soldier Steel, uh, Granosaurus, Leviathan Dragon. Submersible Carrier Arrow Shark uh, is a bit more burn. Can go with um, can go with Dimension Jar um, and Zen Mines. So the the XYZs are nothing special, but I generally don't even XYZ with them um, with this deck. I normally just rely on the flip effects and hope I win. <laughs> um, so that's uh, that's pretty much it. It's a uh, 
it's definitely just a an annoying little uh, jar deck. Um, so that's all I uh, all I got for you. Um, hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.